Yo, what's up, people? This is Silverwind back again with another deck profile for you guys. Today, we're going to be doing a deck profile on the latest Rayquaza and Vigavolt. So, I have updated this with some of the current stuff. Um, not all of it, though, because there hasn't been really a lot of support for Electric currently, aside from the new GXs, the tag teams, and all that. So, this deck hasn't really changed that much. But um, this is pretty much my current version. I was going to add a couple of cards into this deck, but uh, there wasn't really a point in um what we have at this moment i might throw in jolteon or something like that um after vigable rotates try and see how that goes but it's gonna be pretty hard pressed to get this deck going after rotation so uh, without further ado we're gonna go ahead and present uh quasi vigable so starting off first of course we're gonna be doing our main attacker so we got Rayquaza gx 20 hit points not bad um but we need uh in the format that we're at right now, it's not that bad, but later on, it's probably not going to be as playable because the format's probably going to end up being uh, restaurant, restaurant with Charizard, um, Buzzwall with Feramosa, and then Guard of War with Sylveon, and maybe, um, what do you call it, maybe Zorark, um, Zorark something, I forgot what the other one was, it was like Zorark Greninja, maybe that, but... I know the main three are going to be mostly fire and fairy, so those are the main two, but uh, in the current format, it's kind of mixed up, so this is okay. So we're playing four Rayquaza, so it got the ability Stormy Winds, so when you place Pokemon from your hand onto your bench, you may discard three cards from the top of your deck, and if you do, attach basic energy from your discard pile to this Pokemon, so with this ability, you want to make sure that you don't have a lot of energy in your hand. So then you'll be able to discard some energy instead of all your trainers and stuff. Also, you're playing with uh, Dragon Blake, Dragon Break. So this attack does 30 damage times the amount. Basic Pokemon, basic Grass and Electric Energy attacks your Pokemon, takes 3. Um, we also are playing a Tempest GX, so if your hand's pretty bad, like mine's was in the current games. I was playing against the Pika Rom. Um, beginning games, both times I had the Tempest GX because of how bad my hand was, so... You really don't want to do that, but if you have to, it's a thing. Not many people are playing Judges and Ends and Expanded, so <laughs> not to worry about most people screwing with your hand. Next, we're also playing a one-line Coco. Um, pretty good Aero Trail, switch into the active, take all the energy, do some Tapu Thunder. This is the attack you really want to use um, for your GX, especially against the Picaron, where you have the Zacharon Pikachu GX move. That You need six energy for that, so if you get them before that, then you'll be able to knock them out. Maybe around 5 energy, because it does 50 times the amount of energy attached to... Oh, never mind, it doesn't even matter. If they have more than 5 energy attached to all their Pokemon, for, on their side of the field, it doesn't matter, you're going to take a knockout regardless. So it's just a really, really good GX move to use. Next, we're also playing a 3-line of Vigavolt uh, for the wild, Strong Charge. So you'll be able to get a Grass and Electric Energy out. We're also playing a 2-line of Charge Bug. Uh, so then, just in case we don't get the rare candy, we can do the second evolution. We also plan a four line of Rubin. And then last but not least, in our Pokemon list, we are also playing one Latias Prism Star and one Tapu Coco Prism Star to get back electric energy pretty fast. And this is pretty much it for all of our Pokemon, so now we're going to move over to our items. So, next up, or not I am supporters. Next up for our supporters, we're playing a four line of Cynthia. So for your hand draw six, pretty sweet. Um, really good in the format. Pretty much standard. Next, we're also playing a three line of Guzma. Uh, fortunately, you're going to get rotated, so we got to find a new card. But until that happens, we are still playing the three line of Guzma. We're also playing a two line of Volkner. Glad this is going to be staying because it's going to be really good with electric types. So... Really nice. We're also playing a two line of copycat. Uh, so you shuffle your hand to your deck, draw a card for each card in your opponent's hand. Really nice. We're also playing a two line of Lily for that really huge startup. Uh, so we want to use a lot of our hand in the beginning and then go off with the Lily. And that's pretty much it for our supporters. We're not playing that. Oh gosh, we're not playing that many. I almost knocked over my tripod right there. Um, most of our support is going to be in our items. Speaking of which, we are playing a three line of Acro Bike. We're playing a three line of Rare Candy. 
a three line mysterious treasure to be able to help search and discard energy at the same time. Two line of switch. And then we're also playing a one line of field blower, power pad, nest ball, and rescue stretcher. Field blower is mostly for items now these days. Um, supporters are mostly prism stars, so you can't get rid of a field blower these days anymore. But um, with nest ball, it's going to get rotated as well. But with items, we still can get rid of them, so field blower is still viable. Unfortunately, it's getting rotated along with Nest Ball and Rescue Stretcher, so we're going to find new ways to revive our Pokemon and all that, but as I said before, rotation hasn't happened yet, so this is the current way I'm playing the list until rotation. Um, I don't know if I'll be updating this deck afterwards, but you never know. And then last but not least, our energy. So, put this back over here. We are playing a 16 line of energy, so we're playing an 8 line of electric and an eight line of grass and that's pretty much going to be it so hope you guys enjoyed the video sorry about the fact that i knocked over the tripod and everything like that it's never happened before in the next profile so <laughs> don't want to redo everything but um if you guys enjoyed the deck profile please leave a like comment down below what you guys would change in this deck other than lele obviously i'd probably take out maybe an energy or something for lele but or Lily, but, uh, what you call it, yeah, uh, just leave your comments down below on how you think the deck's gonna run, what's your version of the deck, and also leave down in the comments how you feel about the rotation and the new decks that you'll be playing. Me, personally, the two decks that I'm favoring right now is Gardevoir Sylveon, uh, and also they have R Reshram and Charizard, those are the two decks I want to build. I do see some leaks, though, of Umbreon going with Darkrai and Espeon going with Deoxys, so that would be pretty interesting to see. But yeah, uh, without further ado, it's going to be Slow Fion from the Evolutionary EV signing off. See you guys later. Peace out. <laughs> Return to the back, get up what it is, what it does, what it isn't Looking for a better way to get up out of bed instead of getting on the internet and checking a new hit